I was thinking a really awesome way to spend a few minutes would be to talk about pronoun case. Now, you may not recognize the term, but it's a pretty simple concept. It's a difference between Caitlin and I went surfing and Caitlin and me went surfing. Pronouns may have different versions, but only one is grammatically correct in a given sentence. And this is going to be tested most often in the identifying errors questions on the SAT writing test. In just a moment, let's look at a little more detail on how pronoun case works and how you can fix it. So here's a pretty daunting chart I wanted to share with you of very many pronouns. So the important thing is not that you memorize it or even memorize the headings of it, but just so you understand the concept that pronouns come in pairs. For instance, I and me represent the same person, but in some sentences I is grammatically correct, and in some sentences me is grammatically correct. And that goes for every pairing here. So how that plays into the SAT problems is that sometimes you may see the word him, and you'll have to check whether him is the best fit or he, the other counterpart to that, is the best fit for that particular sentence. Now, there are a couple exceptions here. You're not going to be tested on you versus you because they don't change depending on case. Same thing with it versus it. But the basic idea is that whenever you see a pronoun, you may have to check its pair and see which one belongs in the sentence. Now, let's take that and go into detail on the three-step process for checking pronoun case for correctness. You're going to step one, notice that there's a pronoun connected to another noun. So a pronoun like he, she, it, I, something like that, connected to another noun, person, place, or thing. And when I say connected, I usually mean that there's going to be an and joining them together. It might occasionally be something else, like an or. Then what you're going to do is take the two pronoun cases, like I and me, or he and him, and see which one sounds better in the sentence, in isolation. And then based on that, you're going to know that the one that sounds better is the one that is right. Let's look at some examples. The committee decided that Arjun and me would receive the prize. The first step is we recognize that pronoun case is being tested here because we have the pronoun connected to another noun. So based on that, we're going to look at the pronoun in isolation. And we're going to do that for both versions of the pronoun. So in addition to me, we're also going to look at I. We look at it in isolation, so we're going to ignore the and and the other noun for a minute and then see which one sounds better in context. So first sentence, the committee decided that me would receive the prize. Not looking so promising, let's hear the second one. The committee decided that I would receive the prize. The second one sounds better, and so this is the correct version of the sentence. And if this were an answer choice, you would eliminate it. Another example, first of all, we recognize that pronoun case is being tested because we have the pronoun the and joining it to the other noun. So what we're going to do is test that pronoun with both cases, the her case and the she case. Now remember, we tested in isolation, so we're going to cross out the noun and the and. Let's read the two sentences, see which one sounds better. First sentence, my mother pointed out that it was time for her to lead for the medical appointment. Sounds promising, let's check the other one to be sure. My mother pointed out that it was time for she to leave for the medical appointment. That one sounds awful, and sure enough, the right answer is the first version. Last example. At our meeting, the supervisor presented her idea to Jay and me. 